gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. I think we all can agree that I ain't the tallest rocket on a launch pad, but I am maybe, I, I got some girth to me, like a, like a tuna can. Here is an idea I had, and we're just following our idea into quick and dirty prototyping. Now, on most channels, what you would see is the finished product, and here it is, it's beautiful, it works. That's not the way it works in real life though. There's always iterations and we build quick and dirty prototypes because we don't know if it's gonna work. I think this is gonna work and I think it's a brilliant fucking idea. But first, I gotta set the stage. I gotta weave you a tale of woe. The meta problem essentially is guys, clipboard warriors and engine nerds in the office they go home and they mess with CNC stuff and it's no problem, but they don't actually, it, it's a, as a hobby. So the guys that are into CNC a lot of times are hobbyists. Now, the guys who are, on the, the stools on the tools that are in the trenches that are building stuff out of steel, they do not go home and fuck around, by and large, do not fuck around with CNC. Okay, so I'm trying to bridge that disconnect. What I want to do is bring CNC to welders and fabricators. Why? Here's the problem. There is a tool in every heavy industrial setting called a mag drill. It's a magnetic base, electromagnetic base drill, and they use it what for putting speed holes in things. The beauty of it is it's got a tiny little footprint so you can put it just about anywhere. You can hang it upside down or whatever and punch a hole in stuff, like big holes. Now these things, a hundred freedom bucks will get you in the door, or rather a thousand freedom bucks will get you in the door, and then another thousand for what they call roto brooches because each one of these roto brooch drills, annular cutters, about a hundred bucks each. Okay, so you're in for two grand and that gets you a mag base drill and punches holes and stuff. Okay, what about this? Because we have CNC and it's so easy now, what if we make a mag base CNC on a rotary axis so that it has a very small footprint and then we can go and not just punch holes and stuff, but do slots, do gussets, do shapes, this, that, the other thing. Okay. So here it is. I'm going to run it. It's on the mag base. We'll turn the mag on here. And now we'll hit the hook on. Now just imagine there's a plasma cutter on the end of this. Here's the disconnect. It's got to be dead nuts easy because there's an institutional hysteresis. There's some inertia there. There's a reason guys are still using jitterbugs and, and oxyacetylene torches. They set up a rail and this thing chugs along and cuts off, it cuts straight lines. That's all it does. Guys love it because they know how to fucking use it. So if this is going to work, it needs to be dead not simple. I'm talking an app on your phone that has canned routines. You, you want a square, you want to gusset, you tell it what size. You don't do any drawings. You don't got to go to the office and get a drawing, nothing like that. The beauty of it is small put footprint. So you can put it anywhere. Also, if there's something in the way, you can have it move out of the way and continue on its, you know, do its thing. Whereas presently what's available are big, huge XY gantries, Cartesian. This is a rotary axis with a linear slide. Completely different. Only one way to test a riser. I'll run her till she blows. This is the thermal that no, the Victor. This is owned by ESAB. I run this particular one before, and it's uh, I thought it was Skookum. I never had it apart, but never gave me a lick of trouble. It comes with some bloatware, so we'll look for the CD ROM drive and insert that. That's some crappy gloves here. <laughs> Sunglasses, what for impressing the pensioners on uh, in, yeah, on Miami Beach. Now all we need is hair and water. We'll get that hooked up and get her chooching. We'll do a proper tear down in a future vigil. Fortunately, got a cardinally sin here. We're not going to take it apart. Hello, Haywire, my old friend. 
It's nice to smell your bum again. Ba -ba -ba. Here's the thing. If it works as a haywire abortion, you're fucking golden. Because you can always get her to chooch more better later. Proof of concept. Quick. Und. Dirty. I'm going to try the old dry hump before taking her out for a proper rip. Fucking right she does, boys. Safety squints engaged it. We problem with the drag here, but uh, let's have a look. See? Ah, oh, fuck yeah, that'll do. Got caught up on the drag. Fuck yeah. <laughs> have an idea, implement the idea, put it on the internet. What a world we live in. It's fucking incredible. From conception to to done, it, it's fucking nuts. Okay, so well, I'll turn off the noise there. Uh, let's get let's get one that doesn't fuck up. Let's let's do that. We'll get one that doesn't fuck up. Let's turn the magnet off here for a sec. Move it. Fuck yeah, man. I'm fucking stoked. Cut. Cut. Horn tack. A little bit too fast. Yeah, a little too fast on the rotary axis. Oh, fuck yeah! As we all can plainly see, that right there works like a hot dam. Choochin' like she's coal-fired. Fuck yeah! Freedom 85 right here. Now, just gotta figure out how to skookumify it. Uh, if you would, put your comments down in the doobly-doo. If you got any questions, concerns, something I'm overlooking. Why this won't work. Uh... Clearly, it works. A tiny little mag base, so zero footprint, portable. I mean, you guys know, the welders and the fabricators know how many mag drills there are in industry. Why the fuck wouldn't you have a CNC plasma cutter? Like, do the same job. You can hang it upside down, cut out a shape. I know you don't want to go and make a drawing. So, what we do is we have... This is the, an idea. We have an app on your phone. It's got canned routines. So if you want a square, you put in the size of the square. You want a rectangle, you put in the size of the rectangle. Two fields, you know, a rounded corner, square corners. If you want bolt hole pattern, pro, or you, you cut profiles, whatever you need. You know, you can do this wherever. A frame of a truck or underneath a whatever. I, I, think, it's, I think it's a great idea. Uh, we need to make an interface on a phone that's easy and... Uh, obviously, I need some help <laughs> with the inverse kinematics to get this thing because it's a non-Cartesian robot. It's not X and Y. It's not square to each other. It's rotary. So we have to be able to get the the 
the algorithms, the shapes in order, you know, if we want a circle and so forth, getting ahead of myself. Sorry. I, I, pretty fucking excited that this actually went from conception to, to working prototype so very quickly. Also, let me know what you think. If you'd use this thing, if it was easy, you're a welder, you're a fabricator, fornicator, whatever, home shop machinist. If it was easy, would you use this thing? Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice.